Hello! I wish I had a space gun. Brilliant! Space gun of my very own. It's a gun I can use to shoot things when I'm in space. Or it's a gun that shoots space. Or it's a gun you can use to shoot that 70s disco band space that had a hit with Magic Fly. Or that 90s band, um, whose hits included the female of the species and neighbourhood. Look, there's far too many bands called Space, actually, thinking about it. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Let's look at this funny toy. Look, there's a weird, badly drawn, blobby cowboy holding it up just to show you how space it is. It's weird. It looks like an extra from Firefly drawn by somebody who'd never seen the series. Every style's fully wonderful. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. I had been worrying that there were some styles that weren't fully wonderful, but that has reassured me, and I feel a lot better as a result. Maybe they meant to write Harry Styles fully wonderful because they're big fans of One Direction or something. Anyway, there it is. It's like a cool space gun that looks familiar, but we'll get into that later. Ages three and up. Best superpower. Yeah, not one of those crap superpowers like Squirrel Girl. We're talking Superman stuff here or something. These are, of course, the best bullet points that have ever been written down in the English language. Sky War. Unmatched. Novel Original and all-conquering. Yep, that's a pretty good set of things to put on your CV. So, transcend future with Space Gun. Specifications, colours and contents may vary from illustrations. Ah, so you don't know what you're getting in the box, essentially. Thanks, guys. Um, oh, hang on, there's special safety stuff. Pac-Man uh, choking on a sugar cube, Pac-Man crying because he's put on weight. Uh, that's the main character from the webcomic Brood Hollow. That is a dark face with a smaller creepy face near it. Hmm, bit descriptive on that one. And... What the flipping hell? <laughs> Sorry, even I am taken aback by the phrase Kith Quiver. <laughs> Who is he, the Green Arrow sidekick? Kith Quiver. Kith? Kith? You may kith the bride. Um, it's kith. I'm thinking of kith and kin. Doesn't it mean like, um, you know, your close family and friends and neighbours and stuff? I'm not sure. Maybe it's an abbreviation for kids in the hall and uh, you can use it to put arrows in. I don't know. And uses three AA batteries, not included, and clearly shows a picture of two AA batteries being put in. Well done, lads. Well done. Um, also, flash and other flash. Much flashing going on. Anyway, let's have a look at the device itself, because it is truly wonderful and all-conquering, novel original, unmatched, and of course Skywar. Right, AK-798 apparently. Fits nicely in the hand, which is a bit of a shame, because it's probably aimed at children who would have much smaller hands, but there we go. Now you may be wondering where this is familiar from. Cut that bit off, and it's an almost exact replica of Deckard's gun from Blade Runner, just a different colour. So if you're keen on cosplaying such things, you could uh, scrape off the AK nonsense, fill up those holes, scrape off that laser sound gun thing on there, spray it up, cut that off, and look, you've saved yourself a fortune, and can pretend you're uh, Harrison Ford and give yourself a really badly done voiceover. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice thing in itself. It's a toy gun. What more do you want? Well, it's full of features, so I hope you want those. The first thing it does is make loads of noise and lights and other such weird things. Let's start at the front. That is apparently Kith Quiver. Also, slightly worryingly, it's got a laser pointer in it, thus making it not ages three and up at all, and actually quite dangerous for any child to play with, because, you know, get that in your eye and it isn't going to do your retinas a whole lot of good. That bit lights up and flashes, this bit lights up and flashes, it makes annoying noises, yeah, 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 yeah. But also, weirdly, it has these little polystyrene balls that are flipped around by sort of a windmill thing in there. It's an interesting uh, concept. Eat flame, Rutger Hall. Well, now the time has come to hold the trigger down for a while, and you really are in for a treat. I swear to God I'm not dubbing over this. This is the noise it actually makes. Yeah, and it just loops that forever. I thought you'd enjoy two goes round. So it's actually less of a toy gun for children and more a way of, uh, well, triggering post-traumatic stress disorder in people who have had to rescue hostages at some point in their lives. Not entirely sure that really is uh, 
good for any child aged three or up. So there we are. It's an immensely dangerous laser toy that makes terrifying noises and can kick off bad memories. What more does Billy want for Christmas?